So the silhouette of your physique is truthfully set off by your shoulders and from the rear or even from the front, the width of your back. That's where it's really going to bring your overall physique together. So today I'm going to show you how to really make sure you stand out in the crowd. Today's workout is going to be back and shoulder. Like I told you guys earlier, this is back to basics. All the fancy motions are cool, but without a foundation, a strong, solid foundation of these fundamental movements, nothing means anything. Let's get it going. By the way, I'm mixing BCAAs into my pre-workout as I always do because I like having BCAAs in my system while I'm training. If I would slide into a catabolic state without it, I don't know, but I don't wanna run that risk. It is me preparing for spring and summer. I am in an actual deficit. I don't want to get too low and possibly start burning muscle mass. It's been all winter building. <laughs> Let's get it going, y'all. We're going to open up with cable back row. Extremely important exercise to always leave in your back workout especially in this cable position here. Reasoning being is your spine sits down the center of your back. We all know this. But on both sides of your spine, I want you to picture two anacondas, starting off in your upper traps and running all the way down towards your lower back. If you can keep those nice and thick, it changes the whole appearance of your back. This is a great way to thicken those muscles. At the same time though, strengthen or bring more size to the upper mid portion of the lat in your back. Rhomboids are a big portion that you're going to be picturing as well as you squeeze each time. So picture yourself coming back every time and squeezing someone's finger who's sitting on your spinal cord, all right? If you ever begin to feel your biceps pumping, it's because you're using the wrong muscles. Get out of those biceps and get back to retracting those shoulder blades, all right? There should be no bicep pump during today's workout. So we all know the king of all total back movements is the pull-up. But a pull-up is really hard for most people to complete. The lat pull-down is the closest thing to accomplishing those same exact targeted muscles. What we're gonna do is hold on to this lat pull-down bar just wider than your shoulder width. Not too much further though. If you wanna gauge it, perhaps put your thumb into that dip. Extend your thumb out as far as you can. That's your first grasp. Do the same thing on the other side so it's even. This is gonna land you right at about a shoulder's width grip. As you pull down here though, you're gonna pull down just past the front of your face like you're doing a pull up. Not a chin up, but a pull up just past your face. Again, a lot of back muscle involved, but the focus here are your lats. Progressing into the second set here. Another side note about this pull down. Make sure you're not leaning back too far. You do see variations of a lat pull down where there's actually a tilt backward going on here. But for understanding the fundamental basics, please sit upright a little bit more, okay? If you begin to lean back too far, you'll really start to get more towards an actual rowing action. A lot more of your rhomboids contracting than actually pulling down with your lats as we intend to do with this lat pull down, okay? Upright as so. So as we continue this back and shoulder onslaught, I like to finish off the back portion with an actual back machine. Reason being is in a machine, there's a lot less additional stability muscles involved, so I can sit down mindlessly and just pull. But at that point in time, I can just really focus on a bigger contraction of the actual muscle I'm trying to work. In this instance here, my back. I'm gonna use the hammer strength roll machine for that. Feel free to use any back machine you want. Just make sure you're getting a really good squeeze in that action. As I mentioned earlier in the beginning of this workout, you don't want to feel a good bicep pump. That's not the focus here. If you feel a bicep pump during your back day, your form was terribly wrong. Chances are the weight was way too heavy. Right now, my biceps do have decent blood there, 
but it's not a true pump, so I'm not worried about it. Again, if your biceps are on fire, your form was horrible the whole workout. Check that. Drop the weight down some and connect that mind to that back and less of that whole pulling heaving action you're using your biceps for. So in this four day workout split, today is back and shoulder. We already knocked out our back workouts. Now we're going towards the shoulder workouts. The shoulder has three major parts to it. Front deltoid, side deltoid, and rear deltoid. In my experience, myself and other clients training, the rear deltoid is typically the weaker of the three. So while the shoulders are relatively fresh, I want to try and connect my mind to that much weaker muscle. The side shoulder, front shoulder, they really do work. They get a really, really good pump really fast. But that strong connection of that mind to front deltoid or mind to side deltoid can sometimes make it hard to connect to the rear deltoid when it's time. So this is why I open up with the rear deltoid first. Plus the rear deltoid development will truly complete from the side portion, a full rounded experience or uh, shape to the shoulder coming across the front half, but really jutting outward across the backside. That comes from well-developed rear deltoids. Side note for you while you're doing your rear delts. If you begin to feel a pump in your traps or your mid trap area, that's because you're too tense in that area. Go ahead and relax your shoulders down, breathe and focus on the back of your shoulder. This is not a back workout, it's the back of your shoulder. By the way, I'm not a psychopath, I just forgot my earphones. Only psychopaths work out without earphones. So, continuing this shoulder day, we're going into the side shoulder raise. We're gonna use dumbbells in this fundamental motion that we should all be using. The side deltoid, side shoulder is extremely important to bring those shoulders alive. I'm gonna sit down because it eliminates the additional sway that I may find when I'm standing. That also means I can use smaller weights. Truth be told you guys, big weights typically mean big injury. So if I can get a nice pump, a good workout with lighter dumbbells, I'm gonna go towards a lighter dumbbell. And of course, when I say lighter, I mean relative to my actual strength. I'm a pretty strong guy, I ain't gonna lie to you. But uh, lighter in my world is, well, this 25 pound dumbbells. A slight pausing motion at the top of it. Here it goes. So what you're gonna notice is at the top of that motion, my hands were slightly tilted downward some. I want you to picture yourself to be holding a pitcher of water. And no matter what, at all points of that motion, you want that water to be pouring outward. So no matter what, at the bottom or towards the top half, you wanna have that water pouring outward. That's gonna make sure you're staying on that side deltoid. As you begin to get tired, look out for it. You're gonna find yourself wanting to open up backward that's just your mind trying to use the fresh muscle of your mid trap to get your arm up so continuing with this shoulder onslaught i'm going towards the front deltoid the front deltoid is actually a muscle I want you to be very leery of thinking twice about when you're training it okay you do want to train it but you don't want to overtrain it reason being is it already takes a hell of a beating on the chest day so you don't wanna double down on your shoulder day by beating up that front delt even more, which is gonna stage or facilitate some pretty serious injury. When I come up on this motion here, you're gonna notice that as I come up, I'm gonna sit just off kilter, which means instead of being straight up here, it's gonna be more of a slight off kilter angle. I find that it really helps to uh, isolate that front deltoid more, not really pulling the other portions of the deltoid into the action. Again though, momentum is your enemy. Momentum is robbing you of your growth. So let's get a slight pause up top so you can really focus and recognize what's being trained. Front deltoid. The shoulder onslaught continues. Early on in my career, I was super um, blessed to come across one of my favorite bodybuilders of all time, Victor Martinez. On, um, on the social network platforms, his name is 
uh, the Dominican Dominator. So Dominican Dominator, Victor Martinez, IFBB Pro Olympian, a gym great. Anyways, I don't know if he did it his whole career, but for a moment of his career, he definitely trained the deltoids in a singular fashion, but finished off with compound motion. So each one of the deltoids got a nice little pump to it, then he just finished it off with a big compound motion. So in the same spirit of what I learned from Victor Martinez many moons ago, I'm going to finish off this shoulder workout with the overhead press in this machine. You could use a dumbbell if you wanted to for that compound motion or even a barbell in the overhead military press. I'm going to be instead using this machine. So if you guys notice the whole set, I was only coming down to about my ear level. Coming down much lower than your ear level can actually put too much emphasis on the actual shoulder joint. So I'm coming down to about my ear and then back overhead. No need to come that low, way too much stress on your shoulders. If you don't feel it now, trust me, you will feel it by the time you reach my age of 37. <laughs> Start point here, over. So in this four day training split, today was back and shoulder, open up with some fundamental back motions to really grow that back and then finish off with shoulders. Back and shoulder was today's workout. You guys make sure you also focus on your recovery because these crazy workouts are definitely taxing. They're very cumbersome to your physique. If you're not properly recovering, you're actually ruining your physique. Remember, a recovering muscle is a growing muscle. Let's go eat. I'm beat. <laughs> 